my little artists. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that you've got your box okay with all your materials and we're going to get things out, have a little look and we're going to get started making some artwork. So this art box is all about two amazing artists. One is Frida Kahlo who was a Mexican artist and the other is Georgia O'Keeffe who was an American artist. And I'll start talking about Georgia O'Keeffe. So if you look on your worksheet here you can see a picture of her and then some of her paintings. She was famous in the 1920s in America and she was really well known for paintings of really beautiful natural forms. She was really interested in flowers, nature and deserts and she painted really amazing artwork um, that really represented how she felt about nature and she became, became a real pioneer at the time um, and a huge inspiration for um, a female artist to be big at that time in America. So she was really quite an incredible lady. The other artist that we're learning about is Frida Kahlo, who was a Mexican artist and she was famous in the 1930s and her work has just been iconic ever since. She was really well known for her self-portraits and Frida Kahlo was actually has a really interesting life story because she was on a bus with one of her friends at school and she was in an accident on the school bus and um, really a, a really fatal accident where um, she became really injured and she had to wear lots of um, corsets and body pieces that the doctors um, developed for her to try and make her back pains much better and so um, she was homebound, she, she couldn't go out, she couldn't walk very well and she ended up by um, doing lots of painting inside the house and um, she portrayed the way that she saw herself in her artwork. One of the pieces of artwork that we're going to have a go at doing is going to be the Frida Kahlo headpiece. And we are going to need your um, hairband and then these um, little white pieces that have come in your pack and also some tissue papers and I'm going to move the camera and show you exactly how to do that. In your box you will have four different colours of tissue paper and four pieces of each. So lay them one on top of the other. You're going to start folding from the top Fold and flip, fold and flip, fold and flip. And when you fold it to the end, you will have a strip and then you need to take one of your sort of long strings of the really soft wire and you're just going to turn and twist it round. Take your take a pair of scissors and the thing that's going to make it look a little bit more floral is having nice rounded edges so trim your edges. This is going to be tricky for really little ones so I think if um, this might be where you need to ask um, for some help if you are um, not confident with scissors. Then you're going to open these out so that you can start to see now how that's becoming a wheel, a flower just like that. And then you're going to, if you turn it on its side, you're going to really carefully just pull the tissue papers apart. So it's two on each side that you're going to need to pull apart. And then you're going to do the other side of it. Now the bigger your flower is, the easier it is to pull this apart.
Now, once you've made your flower, you can take your headband, your Alice band, and you can twist it onto your Alice band. You just need to be really careful um, with the soft wires at the end because they might be a bit spiky, so it's best to just turn them inwards and tuck them underneath. Okay, so the first flower's on. I'm gonna leave that to one side and then I'm gonna start making my other colors of flowers in the exact same way. So I hope you managed to get your crowns done okay. A little bit fiddly, I know. I tore mine a few times too, so I'm hoping that you can't really notice when there's a few little tears. If you want to have a go at doing um, a much bigger version of this, I've put some big pieces of tissue paper in your pack too. So you could use the big pieces of wire and the big pieces of tissue paper to make a massive flower using the exact same technique it's actually a bit easier when the flowers are bigger to pull them apart it's not so fiddly so if you want to have a go at doing that then you could do the exact same thing again and then you'd have a lovely great big flower as well we are going to have a go at doing a mixed media piece of artwork with a doily some lollipop sticks and some other little bits and pieces that came inside your pack Right, we're making a Georgia O'Keeffe inspired poppy. So you can take a piece of paper from your pack and a doily. And we are gonna paint using the red paint. We're going to paint our doily in the middle to make it look a bit like a poppy. We're going to take our shimmery paper and we're going to cut some petals. Then I'm going to use my glue.
you know they can see that I've got a poppy inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe and yours might look a little bit different you can use the materials in any way you like another piece of art we're going to try out is going to be a Georgia O'Keeffe nature inspired oil pastel drawing so you can draw it freehand or you can use the worksheets to colour inside with your oil pastels in your pack. My next activity is the Georgia O'Keeffe inspired oil pastel drawing. There is a picture in your pack which you could use as guidance to colour in or if you would like to draw freehand and really challenge yourself then you could have a go at drawing this onto your paper. So I'm just going to take my fine liner and I'm just going to start drawing these really natural deserty shapes. So I'm copying from the image but if it doesn't look exactly like the image it doesn't matter too much because what we're really trying to get is some really nice sort of um, natural forms on the page. So something Georgia O'Keeffe really loved deserts, she really loved flowers um, and anything to do with nature. So lots of her pictures, you can't really tell exactly what it is, but you can tell that she has taken inspiration from nature. So once you've drawn yours out, I'm going to just move that one now out of the way. And this is the one that I've drawn here. And I'm going to take my oil pastels from my pack and I'm also going to have a look at um, some of the pictures here that are on the printouts to help me with colours. Okay, so you don't have to copy at all, um, but just think about what colours do I think that the artist might have used. And then I'm going to start using my oil pastels and colouring in these, using these really lovely soft oil pastels. Another piece of artwork that we're going to have a go at doing today is going to be a Frida Kahlo self-portrait and we're going to um, have a look at trying to draw her face so you can either be really ambitious and have a go at drawing that freehand or if you're a little bit younger then there is um, a printout inside the box that you can colour in and I'll show you how to do that now. For your Frida Kahlo portrait, you're going to use your box to make the artwork. So you need to cut the inside of your box in half, put one side to one side, and then cut the edges so that you've got a really nice, neat rectangle. Okay, that is going to be the back part of your portrait, which is what your picture of Frida will go onto. Or if you're drawing it freehand, you'll draw, draw free, freehand onto that. The other part of the box is going to be the frame that goes around the outside. So before you do anything else, draw out your frame shape. So I'm just going to draw some nice curvy lines. just like that and I can actually colour it before I cut it so um, I'm going to take my pen and do some nice swirly lines on the inside
okay so you've drawn your curvy lines and your squiggles and then you can take the brown oil pastel and color your frame around the outside and this is going to frame your portrait when you've finished it which is going to make it look really nice and finished Okay, and when that's done, you can just cut the inside part out. Might need an adult to help you with this bit. I'm just going to simply cut as neatly as I can my curvy lines. There we go, so what we have here is a really nice frame to put to one side to go over the Frida Kahlo portrait, which we're going to start doing now. Right, so frame to one side. If you want to use the printout you can, you can colour that one in and that can be stuck down to the background or if you are feeling confident to do some drawing then you can just draw from your picture, so try and copy it or maybe you're going to just make up what you think um, she looks like to you. There's lots of pictures in your pack so you could copy one of those. Well done little artists. I really hope you guys have had fun. I've had so much fun getting inspired by such amazing women as Frida Kahlo and Georgia O'Keeffe. And I really hope that you've managed to take something from the video and that you've enjoyed exploring all the materials and learning a little bit about these amazing women. I'll see you next time. Bye.